Okay, this is for the record. The, we are in Fort Victoria. Uh, they call it the disappearing gun in 1899. The threat of Russian expansion into the Pacific stimulated construction of Auckland's coastal defenses. Mount Victoria being the highest of Davenport's volcanic cones at 283 feet or 87 meters was chosen for the observation and control post and was linked by telephone to the other coastal fortifications. The great disappearing gun was mounted here. It is the last of its type in New Zealand, remaining on its original mounting, transporting the 13-ton barrel from Victoria Wharf to the sun was an easy task. The deep furrow where tramway tracks were laid up on the southwestern flank of the mountains remains clearly visible today. The barrel is 13-ton, 8-inch caliber, rifled bridge loading. Armstrong Elswick pattern, disappearing gun mounted on a hydro-pneumatic carriage weighing 26 tons. Almost 20 tons of charge of 110 pounds of black powder to fire a 210-pound shell up to 5 miles. It could easily reach Rangitoto, where practice targets were installed. The gun remained hidden with its weight for a reloading between the firing. It was then pumped upwards by compressed air and water to the firing position. After the firing, the recoil compressed the air and water in the cylinders again, ready for lifting for the next shot. It was fired only once. The vibration cracked the corner of the glass in many nearby windows and residents complained. The gun has been restored to the Fort Victoria Trust in North Shore City County. This is a short history of Fort Victoria. June Marcelino Marcelino's reporting worldwide. <laughs>